10 Signs Your Cat Really Hates You Cats are rather amusing creatures. They have some funny methods of expressing affection like headbutting your hand and other fun ways of expressing frustration, such as pooping on your garment or drawing blood. So entertaining. Today's video shares 10 indicators that a cat does not like you. If you observe one of these indications once, it doesn't necessarily indicate your cat hates you. Still, if the behavior becomes predictable and is paired with these other indicators of dislike, it's probably a clue that your little guy isn't your biggest fan. How can we stay in their good books? By avoiding these 10 things. Number 10. The cat's eyes are dilated. Dilated pupils are a clue to the significance of a cat's mystery eyes, and they frequently imply an enthusiastic cat. Depending on the context, it might also be a sign of surprise or terror. When a cat is anxious, it is relatively uncommon for its pupils to dilate completely. It is a symptom of rage, excitement, or arousal when the pupils shrink to narrow slits. In either case, a cat's eyes can reveal what they feel about you. Number 9. The Cat Won't Touch or Be Touched When a cat trusts you, it will show you many physical signs of affection. Contrary to popular belief, they can be very cuddly and loving animals. It will lick, rub, groom, and sleep on you. However, if you are a violent person, a cat will not allow you to come close enough to cause harm. If a cat insists on keeping its distance, it indicates that the cat does not trust your intentions. If you don't get any headbutts, lap sits, or leg rubs, it's usually because the cat doubts your intentions. Number 8. It doesn't relax when you're around. When anything startles your kitten and causes them to jump, you may taunt them for being a scaredy cat or even laugh. This is only making the anxiety worse, especially when you leave them untreated. A cat is vulnerable when sleeping. A happy cat will lie on the floor, relax, rest, and even sleep with its tummy exposed. If the cat doesn't trust you, it won't do any of these things. The less at ease a cat is, the less likely it will relax its guard around you. Number 7. Its ears flatten and turn back Usually, many cat owners ask what it means when their cat's ears turn back. The simple answer? It is not happy. Because your cat is an emotionally complex animal, a cat's ears going back might indicate a variety of unpleasant emotions, ranging from mild annoyance to fear or aggression. Either way, it certainly doesn't indicate they're up for a cuddle. Your cat is ready to fight when its ears are flat on its head. In a brawl, whether your cat is the attacker or the defender, it will automatically pin its ears back and protect them from scratching or biting. Don't grab or even touch your cat at this point unless you really want a nasty scratch. Number 6. It likes other people, just not you. Sure, it's normal for someone to have more chemistry and connection with some people than others. This is also true with cats. While dogs pretty much get along with everyone, cats are known to be fussy and pick favorites. If your cat seeks out other people and their pets, jumps at them or plays with them while it constantly ignores you, you might have a problem. This is a massive indication that they don't feel comfortable around you or trust you. Number 5. The cat disappears whenever you come around. True, cats are frequently shy and independent creatures, but even the most reserved cats enjoy a snuggle and a pet now and then, or at the very least a delicious treat. But if your new cat never requests attention and even disappears once you enter the room, it may be avoiding you on purpose. Cats will flee if they do not feel safe and they will slink away if they are distressed. If your cat hides from you, it's an explicit indication that it doesn't want you to see her and you don't want to see her. Number 4. It avoids eye contact Direct eye contact or a challenging or prolonged look is frequently seen as a threat or challenge in the animal world. This is true of any animal, from big and small cats to dogs and wolves. If two cats are neutral or even friendly toward one another, they will usually avoid establishing direct eye contact. It's because neither cat wants the other to perceive its stare as a threat or challenge, which can force one of the cats to escape or escalate the issue. The idea of keeping their gaze neutral is to avoid conflict. When cats look at each other, blink, then move their gaze away, they are communicating that they are not threatening the other cat. 
When a cat engages with people and is not frightened by them, it can glance at them and blink slowly, communicating that it doesn't feel threatened by the humans. They're ready to attack if necessary. Number three, the cat poops or pees on your stuff. Nothing irritates owners more than urine in places it shouldn't be, like the carpet or the bed. After your veterinarian has ruled out any medical causes for your cat's inappropriate peeing, the next step is to determine what environmental factors may be causing your cat's unpleasant behavior. Behavioral abnormalities that result in urinating outside the litter box are classified into two types, hatred of or intolerance to the litter box and new causes of stress. If your cat is routinely eliminating outside of its litter box, you must take action as soon as possible. If this behavior has already carried on for less than a month and your cat is only peeing in one or two areas in the house, the problem is far more likely to be resolved. Naturally, the longer the behavior occurs, the less likely these conditions are to reverse. Start by speaking with your veterinarian. They should advise you on two current therapy options altering your cat's attitude toward the litter box, and delivering very mild medicines. With proper care and attention, you can minimize and even eliminate pets relieving themselves in the wrong places. Number two, the cat's tail looks mad. You may wonder how a tail can look mad, but cat owners know exactly what this means. A cat's facial expression might be hard to understand at times, and some argue cats always look angry but the tail typically gives them away. Simply looking at a cat's tail will reveal how it truly feels. Your cat can be irritated, on edge, stressed, protective, or afraid if its tail is whipping about, puffing up, sitting tight and rigid, or lingering on the ground. A twitching isn't always a wrong indication. It might be playful, but once the tail swings back and forth like a whip, it's typically a warning to back away. Number one, the cat hisses, growls, bites, or scratches you. These are pretty obvious and the signs can't be mistaken for anything else. These kinds of indicators should be challenging to ignore. You're probably aware that these are evident signs of a cat's unhappiness. Hissing, snarling, biting, or clawing, or sinking their nails into your flesh are all signs that a cat is angry with you. Of course, some cats play rough and most cats will offer a love bite every once in a while. But if your cat bites you violently enough to cause bleeding, that is one angry kitty. Have you seen these signs in your cat? How did you remedy the solution? Tell us in the comments below. And as usual, make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.